Hi! I am Isis Mirage. And I am Coco Ferocia. And we're back with another RuPaul's Drag Race All Stars review. Yes. A little later than we <laughs> meant to. Mm -hmm. But that's only because we ended up getting a little fucked up. The pool didn't close. We yeah, just, no, that was got just drunk and missed that it. That was just vodka. A little bit, yeah. little bit of champagne. A little bit of some flan tasting thing. I don't know, it tasted just like flan honey in the bottom part. It didn't taste like that. It did. It didn't taste like that. You tasted it? I didn't even know you yes. tasted it. Yes! Via Sophie. And it was horrible. Thanks, bitch. It, it wasn't bad. Anyway, we got a little drunk. Yes. Sorry. It happens for a lot of us. I get, I shout out to Nina Bonina. <laughs> shout out to Nina Bonina. So getting right on into it, yes. the first thing we need to address is the whole thing that was set up at the beginning. Uh -huh, that the, the girls the had to come. The handmaidens, blah blah blah. The handmaidens. The handmaidens tale. Y'all know. That's what it's called, right? <laughs> I'm like, y'all know and y'all probably know better than me because I just heard people say that it's a movie and a reference that I haven't seen and I don't understand. Well, and... I don't know if we're still also doing this whole mole, BB mole theory of this doesn't, like... If I don't buy the BB out. mole theory, I don't buy it. And if I'm wrong, <laughs> that's okay, but I don't buy it. Honey. So anyway, as far as the girls coming back in and addressing the girls that chopped them, it was clearly like a setup situation by the producers or whatever. They were like, okay, come and do this. But the girls were down and they were in their feelings yeah, about it. I would stuff. definitely so imagine. So they were like, the that. minute they told them, they were like, no problem. <laughs> they were ready to let them know what they truly thought, uh -huh. such as Morgan McMichaels was really letting Miss Ben have it. He was going to let her know what she thought, honey, yeah. and she did. And maybe a little caught up in her feelings about it it's in so much so that she had to come back the next day and like fix the situation in a way uh -huh. like it wasn't like you know so bad but like it was but, but good you know, to at see the them same time like bitch like milk was crying and shit yeah. and she got to her moment so in the end day it was what it was and you know it's yeah. drag it's a lot of emotions and pain and shit that goes into mm. it and like just the setup as well of like eliminating each other makes it kind of difficult because it makes it like a personal you know what i mean yeah it absolutely does like you know like you were saying milk in her feelings about like you know very you didn't tell me my skirt was shit moments like yeah and you know what i've gone back and forth with the whole idea of them eliminating each other because mm -hmm. at first i was like dead against it mm -hmm. and then i thought about it and i was like well it's all stars the element of eliminating each other does make it a little more cutthroat in a way like it's it's not even down to the judges yeah. completely at that point so but i still don't know that i think it's really fair on the contestants as far as like relationships after the show which i yeah, know tv is for that but i just think this tv show is very specific mm. and so should maybe be handled specifically but that's just me you know so moving on they did this whole singing thing spice girls theme yeah. it was the winning girls versus the girls that had returned yeah and we're not gonna go through all that because bitch I don't have the fucking time. Especially <laughs> with, with the drunkness and everything that we had going on, you know, like we gotta catch up. So, the thing that I do need to address out of this whole situation is of course BB's The Horror Bernays song. Clearly. Iconic. And, and when it came to a musical challenge, like if you're a season one watcher, and we, you, me and you, and you, we already knew that BB was gonna kill this like musical uh -huh. shit. She just has that like I don't know that fire, that that something, honey, that zest that she can bring zesty. to your track. What a zesty? <laughs> Maybe so zestful, honey. Citrus, honey. It was giving me very like Kevin Aviance, like the classic tracks, you know, Miss Dum Da Da and all that. I thought it was. Over. We I mean, need a link. I thought it was over. There will be a link in down the below to the box, Kevin Aviance I don't video. Do it justice. And by the way, can I just say I'm so glad that this week it was a lip sync song that I personally love, specifically the drag mix, which I also love. You did. You got your life when it I, I, was that mix, and you. And I said it was the song, and I said because sometimes it's the song, but it ain't the right mix. I'm like yes, it's the right mix. I got my life. It was great. However. 
For the yes. Spice Girls week, they could have played a Spice Girls Hello. song. And okay, listen, I'll take an Emma Bunton solo track. She has them. What was that one song? No, what was that one song? Just give me the name of the, the title. Which, uh, if I knew, I'd tell you. Well, maybe that's why they didn't do the Emma Bunton song. But Spice but Girls got shame. hits, but maybe it's that like legal shit. Emma Bunton had a hit! Hey, yo, Emma, Bunton, uh, Emma Bunton had that one hit. <laughs> Guys, don't play me. I played that when I was a kid on my Walkman. Walkwoman. Hello. And What's it that? was. I don't know, I'm too young for that. I, yeah. Um, BB's wig removal. Because I know a lot of people feel some way, are gonna feel some way. Even Rue, like, didn't give her the win after she he, pulled the wig off. She was yeah, like, no, that she now. officially lost the lip sync when she removed it. Like, and clearly everyone at home was like, bitch, don't do it. Like, to me, I wasn't that mad. Personally, no, no, I wasn't so mad. No. To me, like, okay, you're gonna take your wig off. At least, like, what you've got underneath, let it be like snatchy something. You know what I mean? Like, and to me, she was like very. It was still very beautiful, very almost like uh -huh. a different effect. Like, but I wasn't. It wasn't like she took it off and she had this ugly ass hair underneath. You know what I'm saying? Like, or like, or like, or like a real like floppy moldy bun. Yeah. Mm. Yes. She I was good. not mad at what she had underneath. I felt no. it worked for a very like short moment with the and, gown. And you know, I think it just you know it speaks for old school drag yes. and the the generation, if you will, of drag that BB comes from mm -hmm. and. That old school way is to be respected. <laughs> Shout out to Mimi Mox and Miss Continental. I forget yes. the year, but she had the old school written on the back with the very edgy old black moment. Yeah. Shouting out the old school, and everyone got their life because, you know, like, drag history is important and the yeah. shit we come from is important. And For sure. that whole, like, drag queen taking the wig off trope is a trope for a reason, you know? That being said, Drag Race where it's at now, Drag where it's at now, yes. you kind of need to have that, like, wig under wig, rose under wig, something. Well, like what you were saying, like, what are we gonna do in 20 years? Bitches gonna have fireworks coming out of their wigs and shit. Yeah, like, it's like, like I can't what are we do doing that. 20, 30, I'm like, not gonna be, like, this. fucking shooting, like, Come bubbles on, and oh, dolphins out my building. fucking hair. Like, <laughs> dolphins on my Listen. I love. I don't know how to wash a dolphin and keep my hair not smelling <laughs> some type of way. But anyway, I digress because the point is that... It's very old school. It's very old school and BB's old school. She's a season one winner for a reason, you mm -hmm. know? Like, not everyone needs to be the girl with glitter or whatever, falling out the wig or wig under wig. Like, you know, there's room for everything. And yes, I think for RuPaul... Having seen everything she's seen on Drag Race thus far and all this, she knows everyone's gonna be at home like, oh my gosh, you didn't have anything under the hand. But we're <laughs> gonna be here to say that was sick. We were not that mad. Respect at that. it. You need to come up with the next gag. So like, this is what the drag queen's been doing. Let me like step it up a level. But be aware that it comes from an original source. And BB Zahara Benet is one of those girls that is. An original source of drag. <laughs> I think after this, and being that I'm slightly hungover still, we should move on to Ben and that whole situation because really this is this is the the juice. This is what everyone really wants to know. Yeah, I was waiting to know about and review and all these things. So I definitely support her decision to do that. She absolutely pulled the stunt. She pulled the pad. She was like, you know what? I think she, that bitch, is almost too smart. You know what I'm saying? Like Bendela sat there in that hotel in that moment. She won that challenge. She said, if I win that challenge, I'm gonna go my ass home. I feel like she clocked that up, and she's like, you know what? She won the motherfucking money. She proved herself. Everybody wanted to be like, oh. She been gone. You don't gone. feel like it was a rash decision? Mm, I don't know. It could be. I don't say that it can't be because she's. I feel also very that. But she's so like everything she thinks is so like it's like she's thought out, and I feel like she like worked it out in her mind. And really, this her logic applies. Like you can't argue with that. She really did leave kind of like a winner. Like. 
Well, I mean, besides the fact that she made plenty of money on that show. Hello. My First math all, not being good enough to. I think it's like at least forty-five thousand like something, that. honey. It ain't my money, so I'm not counting it. But she won. <laughs> so I think that probably helped too. Mm. A little for bit. Sure. Like no, you for know, sure. you've already got some money. Yeah, like. That's what I mean, like it was such a specific, because of her specific journey on the show, I think she, it just, like, it worked. To, to let go of that it takes a lot of, like, confidence, I mm. think. You know, there is such a thing as too much of a good thing, and sometimes it's like, if she would have won the whole show, won loads of challenges, won lots of money, where do you go from there? I mean, in a way, it kind of sometimes can feel like there's nowhere to go when you're at the top other than down. And so sometimes it's just best to leave a situation when you're... On a high. Yeah. Yeah. Without necessarily having that. to be the top. And I think like Ben even it, like... spoke for not having to be the best at everything, but just being proud of what it is that you do. Yeah. Hello. Without having to be validated. Hello. And I don't think Rue can be mad at her because at the end of the day, not only do you have to, in my opinion, respect someone's choice when they've like had enough or whatever it is. Yeah. At least from like a human to human standpoint, yeah. you know, not so much legalities or whatever. I don't know about them contracts, but um, <laughs> I'm sure they're ironclad. And other than that, promotion people, <laughs> hello. <laughs> Bitch, she... everybody was talking about it, honey. Yes. It ain't the first time somebody's quit. And it ain't gonna be the last time somebody's quit. Shout out Chanel. <laughs> Shout out to Chanel. Okay. Please. An icon. A legend. Because I think we're wrapping this yeah. up. Oh, no, hold up. Morgan McMichaels is back, bitch. <gasps> <laughs> You've been waiting all these weeks. Bitch. Didn't I say? And you were really losing hope. Like week three, you were like, "Didn't I say?" Nah, hope? listen. No, you didn't. They didn't shake you. I was playing. <laughs> the reality is, we knew. Yeah. We knew. We didn't know like that because I don't want someone angry at me, like some producer of the show. What do you mean you knew? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't really know, but in my heart, I knew. Mm -hmm. Congratulations, Morgan. Yes. Because we needed someone to represent the. Like older seasons, yes, you know, besides BB and BB, like we love her, but she can be very demure, and Morgan can be not so demure. <laughs> and I like we that. love Morgan, and I think she's gonna add ben something great to the also show. Also, made a great decision bringing her back, the fairest decision, the nicest decision, but I also think it was sincere, sincere, mm. nice, and cunty because. <laughs> I don't think it was disingenuous. I do think she wanted to, like, extend that olive branch, if you will. Uh -huh. Also be like, now what, bitch? Because I have siblings, <laughs> and I know when my brothers and stuff used to get angry at me for, like, stealing the swing or whatever, like, there was a good feeling sometimes in being like, okay, I'm off the swing now, bitch. My whole ass has been sat there. Like, there's a little enjoyment there. But, you know, just like a slight continue, like, nothing evil, because at the same time you're doing something nice for someone, you're like, you're having the swing, honey. So, you know, drag. It's drag, mm, it's fun, yeah. have fun. It was a good ass episode, it was pretty yeah. iconic, uh -huh. and um, we are glad to and be here. And by the way, as a, as a very small side note, and to be fair and everything, I did want to mention that I do think with the crying and everything that happened and the hullabaloo, whatever, in the end, I do think that Milk rectified her situation mm -hmm. quite a bit. I do think yeah. her performance was good, and I think that she like finally listened and like got it a little bit and that's why fans out there you need to calm down with the comments and the twitter and being angry at someone and oh my god if i ever act like move because you need to sometimes give somebody give some people time. space yeah. to like grow like, and learn journey. and you know what i'm saying uh -huh. like if you don't like allow people yeah no it's very oh you're off the show now oh you are shit and i'm done with you now all i'm saying is the milk, opposite it was less sour this week. The milk was still in date, honey, this time. And we're, yeah. we're grateful and, and good for you for growing from this experience. Because yeah. that's important to be celebrated. So, 
And other than that, I think we're pretty much done with the whole yes. situation. We, yes. You know? I would say so. Yeah. One last, last, last thing before I say it's the last thing and then there's and then another there's last another, thing. No, there's another fourth stop. Or so. <laughs> Allegedly. Allegedly. Um, Chi Chi Devane, go off. Because yeah. Ben left and it was a big thing and everything. But you also did a very big thing that didn't get quite as much recognition this episode. Hello. Quite a huge thing, actually, in not necessarily wanting to come back and being honest about that and telling everyone that you didn't want to beat the dead horse. Not yeah. to say that that is the situation. You don't need to compete. You don't need to be the best. You don't yeah. need to want to win a big competition. And that's okay. And I think she, along with Ben, both in a way proved that point. Yeah. Okay, so we will be back soon. Hope you enjoyed this week. Remember to hit the thumbs up button. Hit that shit. Let us know you were here. Let us know you liked it. Uh -huh. You won't be here. <laughs> and remember, like always, to leave your comments down below. Because I like to keep up with what you guys are feeling about the show. Yes. And about how you're feeling about yeah. how we're feeling. Yes. About the show more specifically. And the feelings that they have. About feeling, feeling, those feelings, feelings they have for our feeling. feelings. Leave your feelings down below. <laughs> so, we'll see you next time. We, <laughs> we will. We'll absolutely see you next time. Why, we need to stop this. Bye, 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 bye